I'm going to make a clay or sediment trap to go under my sink using simple plumbing parts. The underside of a P-trap has a screw-on fitting. The fitting for a sink drain has the same size thread and can be used to make a watertight joint. Inserting a drain pipe and tightening up the thread should be all that's needed. A second fitting will allow me to attach some plumbing which will act as a sediment trap. The bottom of the little trap will be a clean out and a threaded plug. I'm using 3 inch ABS pipe. A short length of 3 inch pipe will be needed to join the bottom to the top which is basically a 3 inch by inch and a half adapter. My plumbing in this situation is inch and a half. Of course you'd use 2 inch if that were the case. You may need to browse the hardware store to find the particular fittings that you will need. This is not really a one size fits all. It will take some plumbing knowledge. Here you can see that I've done a dry fitting of the concept. Oops, lost it inside. Before joining the pipe together with glue, I trim off the edges and clean them up and sand them a bit to make them smooth. Then I measure the length that I have, the distance. I had a rough idea before, but uh, I'll need to get make sure that I have enough room underneath. I cut the 3 inch pipe and the inch and a half pipe to very short lengths and then dry assembled everything again and measured to make sure everything would fit. Then I assembled everything with ABS glue, because I am using ABS pipe, and uh, wiped it off, being careful not to get any glue on the threads, anything that's threaded. If you give the joints a twist of about a quarter of a turn, this will help them to spread the glue and make a tighter joint.
The reason I decided to build this little sediment trap is because when I priced them on ceramic supply places, the price was really high, over $200 on the ones that I saw. I think you could probably build this entire project for less than $30, although that will depend on the parts you use and the area you live in. I cut the sink drain pipe to be a reasonable length to fit the system. Here I'm assembling it to an old P-trap I have just to show how it all goes together. Well I hope the ideas of some use to you and thanks for watching.